Good afternoon, my friends. This is Brother Al Johnson, according to the word of God.org. This is a part two. Deadly poison, part two. I'll tell you about it in just a minute. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time together. We thank you for your love and kindness, Lord. It is better than life, and our lips shall praise thee. Thank you, Lord, for this video. It's about deadly poison, part two. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the last video, we talked about the tongue being filled with deadly poison. And it can do that. The tongue can get, get you in a lot of trouble. This is not a part of the human body. This is about a microorganism. People are calling it coronavirus. It's so small we can't see it. And yet millions, I dare say billions of people all over the world are afraid of this virus and what it can do to the human body. You can take it right out of this world. Especially if you have trouble with asthma, if you have trouble with bronchitis, pneumonia, diabetes. There's a lot of different things that can, can uh, uh, make it worse, uh, make it more vulnerable. I want you to know that you are not alone in being afraid of this virus. And I want to emphasize the precautions that you can take. We need to listen to the doctors, not the politicians so much, the doctors, the ones that know the virus, the ones that know how to protect ourselves. We do need to wash our hands a lot. We do need to stay um, in a proper distance away from other people. When we go outside, we need to wear a mask. We need to wear gloves. We need to protect not only ourselves, but other people. We never know just exactly where we can, uh, we can come in contact with that virus. Now, for somebody my age, 78, if I get it, it could take me right out of this world just because I don't have the same defenses that I did when I was 45, 50 years old, or no less 25 and 30 years old. A lot of people, uh, young people, have gotten it, and they just knock it, knock it away, and... and uh, they're in good shape, but it has killed some young people too. So this video is all about being careful. People say, oh no, not, not another show on the, the coronavirus. Please listen to these shows. They are taking the time to tell you the truth, to tell you how to protect yourself, to tell you especially Stay home if you can. Now, if you work, then you got to take the proper precautions and you have to help yourself there. I just wanted to make another point about the coronavirus. I've, I've made other videos that suggested about how to, how to do what I just said and, and more. Clean yourself. Every time you go out, clean yourself, wash yourself, take a shower. Um, protect your hands all the time and, and, and don't wash your hands and then get your hands all over your face. They, they don't want you to do that. So don't do it. They know what they're talking about. Are we all on the same page? <laughs> Deadly poison part two. Please be careful. I love you all. Jesus can save your soul, and he's the only one that can save your soul. So ultimately, if I go, you know where I'm going. If other Christians, you know, born-again Christians, people that have accepted Christ as Lord and Savior, in their heart, where they mean it, this is a very, very important thing. I guess that's enough for right now. Thank you for listening to this video. 
And uh, let's bow our heads in prayer. Thank you, Lord, for this time together. We thank you for your love and kindness. And we thank you for listening to us, Lord. Listening to this video. Protect us, Lord. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow. I look forward to it. Bye-bye.